we do live in a world in which uh, so much of what's going on is being watched by thousands of people on social media. And when you go into a room as big as it would be with real people that are watching you and ha are having a proper conversation, it's a completely different, uh, it's a completely different game. The atmosphere is different, but also what comes up in conversation is completely different. There, there's just something liberating to, to be in a position where you can just talk and have a conversation. There's questions at the end, so it's, it goes both ways. And it's just such a, it's such a better place to be than all the stuff that goes on on social media, which has its own place, don't get me wrong, but uh, it's, it's nice to do it in a different kind of way. I had great uh, questions from the audience. I couldn't give any tips about restaurants in Leeds because I arrived in the festival and I haven't had anything to eat yet. But I did have a really, really good conversation and really, really good questions from the audience. People were interested about tips, about cooking, and you also got about much bigger questions about food, about the language of food, about vegetables and their place in, in, in the way we cook today. So a whole array, array of questions and really, really good questions. People are trying to keep costs down at the moment and because they have to. And I think uh, one of the things that I've always championed is really simple, cheap ingredients. So people would say, oh yeah, I need to get all these spices. But yeah, you get them once and they're not that expensive. You just need to make sure you use them more, more than once. So um, cheap ingredients that come out of your cupboards, dried beans, legumes in general, rice and bulgur wheat. There's a bunch of things that you could use to create really cheap meals, but cheap doesn't mean that it's not delicious, that it doesn't have depth. So there are certain tricks in your arsenal. Uh, beyond the spices, uh, there's slow cooking, there's, this, there's ways to get flavor into food, uh, which is cheap cost-effective and delicious and and this is what I this is all I've been doing some for so many years and now seems to be really necessary <laughs> I'd love to be back at the festival at some point it's been such an amazing experience and what a great city